Welcome back to Intimate Talk with Tolu. I will be answering your questions now. You know what to do. If you have any question you want to ask me, or you need to do is to send me an email to intimate talk with Tolu at yahoo.com or call me or I mean send me an SMS on 0035037992. The first question here says Auntie Tolu, I have a girlfriend I lost her contact for long. Then after several years she called me, not knowing that she was with my number. Not knowing that she was with my number on her diary. She want me. To, she want to come back to me. What will I do? Should I accept her after seven years? If you still love her, why not? All you need to do is just to find out what has been happening to her. You actually need to know what has been happening in her life during the period of seven years when you were not talking. If you still love her, and she want to come back. Why not? Why not accept her? Okay. And this one says. Good evening, Auntie Tolu. I love, I like your program so much. May God bless you. Amen. Please, I need your advice. There is this guy that is asking my hand in marriage. We love each other, but he's 10 years older than me. And I am disturbed about it. What do I do? 10 years you are disturbed. That shouldn't be a problem. Why are you disturbed? In fact, to me, I have. it, it might be a personal thing. I believe that... And from 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 what I, I mean, I've seen in the course of doing this job, I've seen that people that are a little bit older, they tend to take care of a lady more than the people that are of the same age mate. That's a fact. You know, they, I, I don't really want to go into details. They both have their advantages and disadvantages, but I don't think it should be a problem. I don't think there are people that are marrying somebody that are... 30 years older than them. If you say clay man, and then you don't have problem with probably your friends have younger husband, and when they are talking, you feel you feel like you are lagging behind because your husband is not more. If you are proud of what you are going of your husband, why not? What is the big deal? People are married, people are 30, 20 years older than them. It shouldn't be a problem. Don't be disturbed, please. Okay. This one says. Good evening, please. My name is Uche. I'm in love with this girl for, for good four years now. But I just found out that she's a prostitute. Her name is, no, I won't call that her name. Uh -uh, from, no, 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 no. From Memo State, that's what I won't say the details. But I love her so much. Please, should I still continue? Even after advising her, but she, she still indulge in that act. Please, what do I do? You can force a hearse to go to the stream. You can't force her to drink the water. So, uh, Easy, I think that is your name. If, uh, what do you call the name of the lady? Judith. I don't want to put the son name now. If Judith says she wants to be a prostitute, you cannot force her to marry you. But if she's willing to repent, you can help her to heal. Even we, that we, we even when we were yet sinner, Christ loved us. So what am I saying? If she's willing to repent, you can help her. You can help her through the healing process. And you can still marry her if you really love her like you have said. But if she's not willing, there is nothing you could do. If you force her into that marriage, in fact, she will frustrate your life. That's the truth. This was a good evening, madam. I'm a man of 30 years old. And I don't have a girlfriend for now because I don't have a job for now. Please, ma, can you hook me up with a beautiful or good-looking girl between the age of 23 and 25 for a relationship when we are talking about when we are talking about who can you hope when you are talking about intimate matchmaking you can't <laughs> there are some qualities i am not god i am not judging you but in my office there are some qualities you must possess to be able to register for matchmaking you need to be able if you don't have to be a millionaire you, you in fact just have a means of livelihood you must have something you are doing, no matter how little, or probably you have learned it, you have learned a trade, or probably you know at least you have something that you can always fall back to. Not that you don't have anything and then you want to go and get married. I've said this thing sometimes, and the man said, I married my wife when I'm when I don't have I don't have a job, I don't have anything. Fine, that could be possible. But in this case, when it comes to intimate matchmaking, you must have something doing. 
I am not saying you should be rich. I am not saying you should have you to be even collecting like fifty thousand, even if it's twenty thousand in a month. Let there be a means of livelihood and let it be that you are heading somewhere, you have future, you are not an NFA, no future ambition. So before you can register with intimate matchmaking, you need to have something doing and then you need to be going somewhere. Okay, and I'm going to be taking one more question. Auntie Tolu, good evening. I have a, a male friend that helps me financially and he don't want me around any man. But that is causing problem in my relationship. What should I do? I don't understand. Is it is are you in relationship with the same man? Because you said you have a friend and it's causing problem in your relationship. So I'm going to ask answer this question. Believing that you are in a relationship with this guy that is taking care of your financial needs and he doesn't want you around any man. That is what you are saying. You need your space. You are not a slave to him. You need your space. Everybody, even if you are married, you still need your little space. So you are not a slave. He cannot because he's giving you money and, and force you to. You can, he can't force the love down your throat. It's not possible. So you need to let him know. That, you know, and then when you are talking about he, he, he doesn't want to see anybody around you, is your, is your character questionable? What signals are you sending to him? Does he think you are sleeping with those people? If he feels that you are just having a friend and you, it's a free relationship, it, should, it shouldn't be a problem. So probably what you need to do is also introduce some of your friends to him so that those are your friends could also be his friends so that everybody could be happy. That is all I'll be able to take on tonight's episode of Intimate Talk with Tulu. Thank you so much for being part of my show. It's been a wonderful one. It's been a beautiful one. Flavors you could add to your relationship and marry to make it sparkling. If you have any question or if I've not been able to answer your question tonight, keep, keep it coming. I will take my time and reply you through Intimate Talk with Tulu at yao.com or, or you can also... You can also also I mean send me an SMS through my direct phone number 081 845 You don't forget you can send me an email. You can go to my website. There are a lot of articles to be read on my blog, it's Emacy Network, and my ever bubbling Facebook page. Join us there, we will be waiting for you. Before I go, let me give you my food for thought for the week. Hey. Hey. My food for thought for the week. Love is composed of a single soul inhabiting two bodies. I'm going to see you same time, same station next week. Good night. <laughs>